Welcome back to another video on my channel. In the last video, we created this nice sticky section inside of Webflow. But how can we connect a sticky section to a CMS? Well, this is not as easy as you might think because it's actually not possible without custom code, as far as I know. And this video here will solve this problem for you and without any further talking, let's start right away. So I'm in a Webflow project that we set up in the last video and the first step that we're going to do is that we are going to open the sticky content right and inside of the sticky content right we're going to place a collection list and we're going to place it here and then we're going to name two of the classes here. At first we'll have the sticky underscore list and yeah, sticky underscore list and then we'll also have the sticky underscore item but currently we can't name it sticky underscore item because uh, these are the sticky underscore items so we'll just rename this for a second um, it will be sticky underscore item wrapper here nice and then this can be the sticky underscore item the new sticky underscore item and then we'll connect it to a CMS collection list and in this case it will be like testimonials you can connect it to whatever CMS type you you want to connect it to it's up to you but we're just going to use a testimonials for this year and now we can just put this one in here but it won't be sticky for now because we still need to make some changes so one thing that we can already do is that we can connect it to the testimonial text here so these are already connected and you might be wondering why do we even need custom code i mentioned this before that we're going to use custom code and the reason for this is quite simple and it is that as you can see here before the structure was like this we had different uh, sticky items here sticky item wrappers now um, that all had combo classes here you can see it was the combo class of two and the next one has three four and five but actually uh, inside of collection lists you can't have different items like you can't have combo classes on items because as you can see here there aren't different elements inside of the sticky item here it's just like the sticky item wrapper and then it's just being copied for the amount of CMS items that we have in our, inside of our CMS of testimonials which is five I guess or four I don't know I guess it's five and that's so like basically we can't have combo classes inside of the sticky item here because it will like different combo classes at least because it will always be the same thing so that's the reason why we need custom code and for this we're just going to um, paste a custom code snippet inside of this inside of the content right here and I'll just uh, select an embed here and uh, don't worry I'll leave the custom code snippet inside of the um, video description so that you can also use the custom code snippet so I just um, pasted the code inside of the, here and now what we still need to do is um, don't forget about this we'll need to set this to sticky and then we'll just delete the others here and normally it should already work now nice nice so as you can see it's already working as you as we want it to work and yeah everything is connected to a CMS you can also have like clients um, descriptions here and everything could be connected but one thing that I kind of forgot but I I want to explain to you is the custom code snippet like I won't go into too much detail but I'll at least cover it a little bit so basically the custom code will um, calculate the sticky percentage for your added um, items inside of the collection list so in this case um, you can add up to 12 different items inside of the sticky section and it will always be connect, uh, calculated for you and so what can we do uh, with these values here um, 
the offset multiplier will define how much the how much space there will be between the stickiness here. In this case, it will calculate the 2% more for each added item. So if, for example, if we change this to four, then now um, it will have a lot more space between these different sticky items. So I'll just change this back to two, not to 42. And this here, yeah, this is just like calculating. The, the first item will stick at 30%, is just like, the, if you change this number here, then it will change the sticky percentage of your, the, your first item. And yeah, this is not that important here. And for the class names, if you change the class names um, from sticky list and sticky item inside of your project, then you'll also need to change the... You'll also have to change the class names inside of the code snippet in order for it to work. Because if you just change the class names inside of your project but not in this code snippet here then it will just target the wrong classes okay so yeah once again it's working perfectly fine and i would say yeah that's it thanks for watching this video i hope that i was able to help you out and i hope that you know how to create your own cms driven sticky sections now inside of webflow if you want to support the channel then please leave a like on this video and if you don't want to miss any new videos that I'm uploading, then please um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions regarding Webflow or sticky sections or whatever, then just ask in the comments. I'll reply. See you soon and have a nice day.